Hey guys, so apparently Harold and I were very much present in the moment and we didn't get to have a sit down talk with you guys in between our day. So yon, susulpot sulpot na lang ako here to walk you through what happened to work out, some tips, and where we went. Na very aesthetic yung feels and sulit yung food and also have a short chat with you guys about rest. So without further ado, let's get into it. Workout time! <music> Beyond, <laughs> we're really taking our time to do dynamic stretches just to keep the blood flowing and para sure na ready yung muscles namin for the weights later. And today, we're doing a full body workout. We're starting off with bent over row, so ensure lang to keep your back flat, core engaged, and squeeze the shoulders pagdating sa taas, and slowly bring it down. This will work our lats. Then, nag lang kami for 30 seconds and went straight na to the second exercise ng circuit na to, which is devil press. So, malaman nyo kung bakit devil press. <laughs> For this one naman, just keep your core tight para hindi kayo ma-out of balance and ma-protect din yung lower back. Whew! Yun! So last workout na for this circuit. This one naman, it's goblet squat. And quick disclaimer lang, I forgot to mention kanina that I am not in any way an expert. But I've been working out consistently for the past 4 or 3 years already. And more or less si Harold also. But everything that we're sharing are just really based on what we've learned so far in our fitness journey. And we hope na we can help you guys or even spark that interest in working out also. Hello. How was the first set? <sighs> nice. Nine pa. <laughs> Nine? Hi, <Nicole. laughs> <laughs> yeah, So after the video, na yun, we basically did everything on that for two times and headed straight na to our second circuit. So for a second set, naman, it was dumbbell reverse lunge, dumbbell up row into press, and yung pinaka ayoko push up. And syempre, konting pa cute. <laughs> Second circuit done. Suntokin mo na lang ako. <laughs> Ayoko na. Sorry <laughs> ko. <laughs> After that, nag-finish lang kami ng ab workout. And then, it was time for breakfast. So yan, kwentuhan lang kami here. Then no afternoon yon, nag na kami kasi we planned on going out. We were super excited kasi we discovered a cool place in Angeles City na cafe. And mukhang masarap din talaga yung food nila. Yun, nakita niyo yung entire day namin ni Harold nung day na yun. It was actually mental health day sa work namin. So, walang work and super grateful. I actually got to work out talaga mindfully nung morning. And nag-binge watch kami sa Netflix. I got to spend time with Harold and his family. And nakalabas pa kami after nun. Nakakain kami sa labas. So, super grateful kasi I just really got to recharge. I got to rest. And today, I just really want to have a short chat with you guys about rest. 
And as much as I'm grateful for all of those things na nagawa ko, I just want to highlight na I know at the end of the day, none of those things will ever truly make me feel well-rested or satisfied. And I can say this because there was this one instance, well, hindi one, pero before, um, every weekend, talagang nagbe-bench watch lang kami ng brother ko ng anime. So talagang after lunch until hanggang what time namin gusto, nanonood lang kami ng anime. And come Monday, parang hindi ko feel na well-rested ako ng weekend. Feeling ko ang bitin. Feeling ko ang anxious ko. Hindi ako ready for the week and all. And there was this one time na talaga na-realize ko lang na grabe no, the quality of rest talaga matters more than the quantity of rest. And there's really no true rest when I spend it outside God. So parang does this mean ba na, okay, wag na tayo manood or wag na natin gawin yung mga bagay na we feel na yun yung nakakapagpubigay sa atin rest and all? Hindi naman. But it's important to get this right. Now, where do I go when I need rest? When I need to breathe from the busyness of life or just life in general? It says in the Bible na He is, God is the fountain of life. And I realized na yung rest we can get from God comes in a full package. It comes with peace, with joy, with love, with stability, with true and lasting satisfaction. And it's even a kind of rest that surpasses our understanding. So parang how does resting in God look like? It's simply just really coming to Him, surrendering everything, talking to Him like a friend, laying everything down, giving everything to Him, so we can also receive His rest and presence in return. So yun, I just really wanted to have a chat with you guys and really encourage you na, yes, let's take a break, let's rest, let's do whatever recharges us physic- physic- physically or mentally. But more importantly, let's just really be more intentional in resting in God moment by moment. Sabi nga rin eh, na better is a day with God in His courts than a thousand elsewhere. And that's so beautiful. Yung taking a moment in the in-betweens of your day to just really acknowledge that He is present, that He is with you. And in His presence, there's no worry, there's no anxiety, there's no anger, there's no bitterness. There is only true and lasting rest. That is it for the bare truth. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tag a friend. We'd love to get this content out there and encourage more people. That's it. We love you and Jesus loves you the most.